All right there, class, welcome. Uh, in some previous videos, we've been learning about different base systems and numbering systems. Uh, today, the or in this particular video, we're going to look at the different place values in the numbering systems and understand actually where they come about. So just as a review, uh, we've learned that something called a cipher is a symbol that we use to represent uh, a digit in a number that we're writing. We've looked at some common numbering systems, uh, specifically the decimal system, the binary system, octal system, the hexadecimal system. We've also learned how to count in said numbering systems. Uh, and we learned, of course, that all numbering systems basically work the same. We just use a different number of ciphers each, in each of those systems. Uh, so right now, we're going to actually go over and learn a little bit about a little bit about how the um, place values work in a system. So let's take a look at the familiar system, the one that we're used to using probably on a daily basis, and that would be the decimal system. So the way we actually get the place values is because it's a base 10, remember this is a base 10 system, um, our first place value, these are for place values, right? Place values are derived or are found by raising the base to um, different numbers. Um, so our first power of 10 here is going to give us the place value of the ones. Okay, so this is the ones place value. The next one is 10 to the first power. 10 to the first power would give us uh, the tens place value. So again, these things right here are the place values. Okay, and so the familiar tens place value. We also have um, 10 to the squared. That's going to give us 100. 10 to, what am I doing? Uh, 10 to the third power gives us the thousands place value. 10 to the fourth power gives us 10,000. Okay, and so forth and so on. And we can continue this pattern forever and ever and ever. Um, so let's just write a number. Let's write the number 332,521. Uh, uh, so we should, of course, be familiar with that this number right here is in the ones place value. The number right here is in the hundreds place value. Um, and again, this is the tens, thousands, place value. And so um, each of these digits that we find in this number, uh, 32,521, each of those digits is in a certain place value. All right, let's go over to the binary system and look at the place values that we find in the binary system. So again, the binary system is a base two system. So that means we're going to start with 2 to the 0 power, and 2 to the 0 power, in fact, any number raised to the 0 power is going to be 1. So the place value here in our first, the first digit, just like in our decimal system, uh, the first place value is going to be the 1's place value. If we raise 2 to the first power, that gives us 2. So that would be known as the 2's place value. When we go 2 to the second power, that gives us 4. 2 to the third power, that gives us the 8's place value. Um, often, when we write a, a binary number, we split them into four, um, four what we call bits. Um, and so we usually put a space right here. 2 to the fourth power would actually give us the 16's place value. 2 to the 5th power, I almost wrote a 6 there, 2 to the sixth, two to the 5th power would actually give us 32, and that's the 32nd's place value. 2 to the 6th power gives us 64, so that would be the 64th's place value. And finally, we'll end with 2 to the 7th, uh, which is actually going to give us 128. So by writing a number... Let's uh, just write a number out here, 10101110, one, zero, one, zero. okay? 
So as we take a look at this number, oh, and by the way, this is a base two number. Um, so to make sure there's no um, ambiguity at all, we're going to make sure we write that base, base two there at the end. Um, typically, over here with our decimal system, um, if it's not written, it's I guess it's assumed. Of course, it's not wrong to write the base 10 there. But uh, for our other systems, I'd like to stick to trying to put the base number right in here so that uh, it's there's no ambiguity. All right. So taking a look at this number, we have a zero in the ones place value. We have a zero in the 16s place value. We have a one in the 128th place value. Okay, so each one of these digits in this number is in a certain place value in that system. Okay, likewise, let's go to our hexadecimal system. Now recall, the hexadecimal system is a base 16 system. So our place values come about from the same exact method. We're going to get 16 to the zero power, 16 to the first power, 16 to the second power, 16 to the third power, and again we could continue this process ad infinitum. As we said earlier, 16 to the zero power, or I guess I should say any number raised to the zero power, is going to give us the number one. So the place value is actually the one's place value. Uh, let me try that again. Come on with this. Place value, there we go. 16 to the first power is gonna give us the 16's place value. 16 squared is gonna give us 256 place value. And 16 to the third power is gonna give us the 4096 place value. Okay, and I think that's enough to go as far as the hexadecimal system. So let's uh, let's take a look at a hexadecimal number. Let's say we have the number, um, let's just put a two, seven, a, f. Okay, so this, again, to get rid of any ambiguity whatsoever, we're going to put the 16 here to say that this is a base 16 number, in other words, a number in the hexadecimal system. Um, and if we take a look here, in the ones place value, we have an F. Remember the number, the, the letter F or the cipher F represents a 15 in the hexadecimal system. In the 16s place value, we have an A. In the 256 place value, we have a seven. Uh, and then of course, in this last place value here, the 4096 place value, we have a two. Okay, so hopefully um, you can understand here that each system has its own uh, place values that are associated with it, but initially, or kind of they're all derived in the same exact way. Um, we're taking a look here and seeing that all of them are derived based on this idea of uh, powers of the base itself. Um, again, in the base, base 10, it's gonna be the powers of 10. In the base two system, it's all the powers of two. Um, in the base 16 system, it's all the powers of 16 that, that give us our, our uh, place values.